We tend to think about osteoarthritis as a disease of the joint, which it very much is. And we can see changes not only on imaging modalities, but also when we look at histopathology or if we take a sample of the joint and look at it under a microscope, we can see these very characteristic changes. But what I want us to do tonight, which we've already started to do, is start looking outside that joint. So what other tissues are involved? So we need to expand. And what I want to stress is that when a dog has arthritis, they're going to have arthritis for their entire life. It will progress at different rates. We can manage it differently through their life. But this is a condition they're always going to have. And the two biggest things that it's going to do is create some pain. But what owners are going to see is that it changes the way they move. So they might limp. They might not want to jump in the car. They might be reluctant to do stairs. They might not want to swim anymore. They might not be walking as far. So these changes in mobility are what we see as a result of having pain or having osteoarthritis. And some of that mobility is due to the joint itself, but also due to some of the tissues that are outside the joint. And beyond the owner recognizing these behaviors, I want to empower you as a veterinarian or as a pet owner to start seeing what's contributing to those mobility issues. So can you feel their muscles? Can you look for things like tightness, restriction, heat, muscles that are hypertrophied or bigger than they should be, muscles that are atrophied or smaller than they should be? You can start to find these things and recognize especially asymmetries in your pet or in your patients that might guide you to some of the changes in their soft tissues that are contributing to their mobility issues. So what this lets us do is recognize those areas that are causing some restriction or causing some limitation to mobility and target them with physical medicine to help improve that mobility, whatever it may be. And we've already talked about this a little bit earlier in the night, but non-movement or immobilization is actually a true enemy of the joint. So in research models where they want to induce arthritis to try to study it, they can create arthritis by actually immobilizing a joint in a dog. So they'll put a dog in a cast and not let that joint move. And very expectedly, it will develop arthritis. So immobility to a joint really can accelerate arthritis. And tissues around the joint will contribute to either immobilizing it or helping it move more functionally. So we want to swing that pendulum towards moving more functionally to slow the progression of arthritis and prevent that immobility.